Okay, so I'm doing question six to nine of the 2017 YouTube Pagan Challenge uh, list. So, number six is what kind of divination techniques do you prefer? Do you record your divination results in your grimoire? I do tarot. It's the one that's called me years ago, and I continue to do it and collect tarot cards. I never really got into oracle cards, but I do have an oracle deck, the Halloween one, the Halloween oracle. I'm not too sure why I picked it up, because the imagery isn't the one that the type of imagery I go to. And if you have seen my tarot decks, you know, you kind of can grasp what kind of like illustrations or whatever I go to. But yeah, I prefer just tarot. I haven't really connected to the other kinds of divination techniques. It's always been tarot. I have a little notebook. Not little, but I do have a notebook that I picked up at a dollar store that I record the reading. Like, it's just for me. I just record the reading so I, re I can remember what I actually, what was asked, what cards came up, what they were, like, saying and all, and all that, and, like, the spread, and the spread that I used. So, yeah. But that's just me. Um, number seven, charging and consecrating your tools. Which methods work best for you? From time to time, I'll charge my decks and crystals. Uh, yeah, it's more when I feel like time is right, sometimes I'll do it on certain moon phases, but yeah, like, I don't have a set date oh, I have to consecrate or charge or whatever my, my items on this date, this time or whatever, just like, whenever it pops into my head, oh, tonight feels right to do so. So, but if you have a schedule of doing it, have at it, but that's just me. It's more of the charging that I feel, oh, they all, it's all good, but I feel that just they need a little bit of a boost, and that's when I do it. So, number eight, where do you perform your rituals, holy sites? Holy site, sacred spaces, and circle casting procedure. I don't do many rituals. I have I light a candle pretty much every day. So I love to light candles, so that is basically a mini ritual, lighting the candle and just like kind of doing like that. From I recently i have getting more and more sitting in front of my altar saying a prayer to Bridget and just staying there for a little bit just going okay I can pause for like two seconds and do all that but I don't have like a set out full on Ritual that I do like every week or whatever. It's just daily thing. Okay, here I am. So yeah, I don't have a really. I don't really do a circle casting procedure. Procedure. I just sit in front of my altar and just be. <laughs> I guess. And question nine, your thoughts on divinity. Do you work with particular deities? So, um, 
I work, well, I'm trying to work. I work with Goddess Bridget. And when I started my practice, I tried to work with the God and Goddess, but I'm like, after a while, I'm like, no, this isn't for me. This isn't what I'm called to work with or ask for guidance or whatever. But if you work with the God and Gods and that's your calling, have at it. Like, I think there is some importance on having, like, divinity. But if you're not, that's cool. <laughs> but to a lot of other, but a lot of, to a lot of people, divinity is, like, why, are, why we're here. Like, um, in Rome, the twins, Ramus and Romulus? Correct me if I'm wrong, but they're the ones that kind of started, and that, and those two can, they're like the founding fathers, but also take a divinity take to a lot of people. Same with all these pantheons, like Greece, Greek, Roman, Norse, or just God and Goddess, or a lot of people are like, screw it. <laughs> just work with spirit or just work with the elements or whatever and to me if you're just working with like spirit or just like this uh feelings of like all the elements elements that's fine too like to me i'm not going to force you just to work with bridge and i'm going to go to like ah, do it i'm like no because you may view bridget as like oh screw her <laughs> I'm gonna stick with my person, but yeah, like I'm not one of those people that are gonna tie you down and switch over to who I believe in, and hopefully, you know, and I don't want people to do the same thing to me, so I'm like, have at it, <laughs> but yeah. So those are questions 6 to 9 of the 2017 YouTube Pagan Challenge topic list. So, yeah. So I'm going to end it there. Happy readings!